you'll see this thing where folks grow up in evangelicalism in particular and then sort of have this wandering, like, do I think this stuff, is this mine or is this my parents? Yeah. And then there are several seams where people kind of come back, I think. But one of the most notable ones that I've seen is when, when folks have kids. That then they're like, all right, well, I guess we got to find a church and we got to tell this kid some stuff, but we don't know these things. And so the goal of this series was to help give parents words. Because often what happens, it, you'll see this in church, uh, people sign off their kids to the church. So you take mm -hmm. them, you train them, because we don't know the answers. And well, that's nobody enjoys that recipe. So uh, we were just going back to the Ten Commandments, the Apostles' Creed and the Lord's Prayer to try to help parents introduce these things to their children. I think I'll stop there before I just ramble on. <laughs> um, so I was the, I was the person that saw this thing. Yeah. Um, I'm a, my specialty is Martin Luther. I do a lot with how he does catechism and preaching. And so it was sort of taking that seed idea that he has and applying it for something today. Um, but Tasha, well, it has more interesting things to say about the art and to say about, uh, I, you probably can say something about Fat Cat, the, the moniker. Mm, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, like Todd said, um, he's like the guy that saw this whole, um, and especially like you had like his two boys were pretty young right around when this started. And um, he was seeing this like hole in the world. And, um, and like Lexum is like this kind of academic <laughs> publishing company you know they didn't do any children's books and so there was kind of this like scheming going on in the background where todd was like what would we even you know like how would we do this and so my husband Lindsay worked with todd and heard that he wanted to try getting into the children's book world so he said to me like hey you should just drop some random concept art and i just like you know whipped up some animals or something maybe in jesus and he showed Todd and Todd it was, was the like, yeah, Egyptians let's... being drowned in the Red Sea, actually. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Because <laughs> Lindsay yeah, had seen, like... I had seen, I had uh, a text pinned up. It might even still be here on a board for a baptism book. Mm, yeah, okay. So sorry, go on, Tasha. <laughs> a really metal yeah, no, start true. to this whole thing. <laughs> yeah, it, <is. laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah. It was cool, too, because it was supposed to be like, um, like wrath on one side and then like redemption on the other. So you're seeing the Egyptians mm. getting swept away over here. And then you're seeing like the waters being parted and like God's people coming through. Uh, that one was really fun. And so, yeah, Todd like showed it around to the people and things kind of like got going. So we kind of got permission to do the, the those three books, the Ten Commandments, Lord's Prayer and Apostles Creed. And so me and Lindsay, my husband and Todd and Veronica, his wife, like, started this little like kind of like dream we called it our, our fat chat text group where we just like tried to like come up with ideas like how do we like mm -hmm. how do we make this you know reverent and beautiful and classic but also like we want it to actually be accessible for kids because mm -hmm. in the kids market you see so much of the art is in my opinion either too high or too low um you see art that can be so like oh the trend is all geometric shapes and and weird colors and um everything's just it's almost like you're not even looking at people because it's just so symbolic um or you're seeing these little kind of chibi uh characters that we jokingly call like um little babies with beards you know where it's just like oh this is just awkward you know like <laughs> just draw a man jesus was a man okay you know kids can handle that they have dads <laughs> and so we kind of dreamed up like the style of of fat cat um kind of like um, we love the kind of old classic Disney art. Um, there's the artist who did um, all the paintings for Sleeping Beauty. Ivan Earl is kind mm -hmm. of like one of my art heroes. So I started drawing up concept art, like kind of mixing that with iconography. Um, and then there's the whole fat cat, which is like pulls everything together, which, you know, maybe you should talk about Todd. Fat cat. But <laughs> It is worth Earl. saying a little bit about. So yeah, we, my wife and I, we have this very fat cat. Um, <laughs> got when we were, he, we got after getting married and uh, his name is Earl spelled like squirrel, but no S Q. I don't remember why oh. we did this, but that's why we did. And he was a very funny cat. You know, I remember he got lost behind our 
refrigerator when we first got him. He was so small. And he, I have no idea what, we, I swear to you, we just fed him like a third of a cup of food a day. <laughs> and he got very big. I mean, very big. Like, th there's a picture of one of our children, I don't know, maybe two years, 18 months, two years old. And he's like laying on top of the cat. And you can see the cat. Like, he's a very big cat. <laughs> yeah. But, um, he just looks like this plushy rug pillow thing. <laughs> yeah. And it was a, a, about when we were talking all, about all this that are the two cats that my wife and I had, they died. And mm -hmm. we were thinking about how to... I, Tasha had made an Ivan Earl... With, with concept art, she was testing this on making Earl as an Ivan Earl um, mm -hmm. cat. And mm -hmm. we were kind of joking about, oh, fat cat. And we thought, oh, it's probably too silly, too irreverent. And Tasha's husband pointed out, well, no, it's, it's perfect because people are scared of the word catechism. There's not really a good replacement word for it. Yeah. Uh, so you do have to reclaim it. But then how do you reclaim it so it doesn't seem pretentious? And so that's how Fat Cat was born. And Tasha went through quite a lot of iterations on that original Ivan Duro cat, kind of blended in her own cat tut into there because tut's a prettier cat um, <laughs> yeah and it, but that was the idea was to have this this thing of like here's the symbol for for this series and it is something invitational everybody likes i mean even people that don't like cats yeah like cats, you know yeah who doesn't yeah. like a cat video <laughs> you know and um yeah so that was that was how that was born and that was the idea of it was to make it something approachable yeah. you can do this yeah. And so he's hidden uh, throughout all the books. Oh.